members of the Pride, and welcome back to another episode of Grounded. Well, as you can see, I have created kind of the, the basis of my little surrounding fort here, and um, I kind of cleared the area of, uh, of, of all the gnats. Um, I'm actually beginning to be a little concerned uh, about this gnat problem, because I don't know if fortifications are going to are going to do much here. Um, although I am noticing that this location is fantastic for aphids uh, and aphid honeydew. Uh, and I'm kind of thinking I'm going to leave the aphids alone unless I'm just starving. Uh, because these little guys create aphid honeydew like crazy around here. And hey, this is like both a fine source of food and also of water. So... Uh, I did a little off-camera work, and I started collecting up all of these here. Um, and so we're going to take these uh, planks that I've been collecting up, uh, because unfortunately that's the closest grass that we have. Uh, and I'm going to start building uh, on my, my, my fortifications here and see if maybe we can't uh, make something happen. Now... There is a small problem here, uh, and it is trying to get these stupid things over there, uh, and it is a real problem. Um, so, if I jump and throw, I can kind of get some of them over in this area, and I can start building. I can kind of go, eh, and just go, do 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 and unfortunately, that's as far as you can go. Um, and I can, uh, I, I've, as you can see, been uh, sort of trying and failing with some other stuff here. Let's see if maybe I can just sort of shove these over close enough, which I really can't. Uh, it, it's kind of a, a real hassle to be able to, you know, I, I'm just sort of written these things off. I'm not going to be able to recover them. Um, it, it's just not going to happen. Um, and unfortunately, uh, trying to uh, collect up these things has been a bit of a hassle. Uh, however, I, in, in doing so, I have managed to ga uh, gather a great deal of plant fiber. So I should be... Uh, uh, I, uh, getting the, the, the woven fiber and all that... Shouldn't be a problem anymore. I've got scandalous amounts of plant fiber. Um, I've been holding off to this point on actually um, on actually tra uh, uh, turning them into woven fiber because I don't know if I'm going to need basic plant plant fiber or not. Okay, here we go. In, in, uh, uh. Did it work? Grab, 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 and grab. And that sort of worked. Ugh, it's such a hassle. Did I, did I complete all these? Yeah, I did. We'll just keep on. We're gonna, we're, we're, we're gonna see what we can do about at least trying to get some of this built. Um, you know what? Maybe I should cut some more of this away, and maybe it will. I need my stamina back. Maybe it'll make. Throwing this stuff over a little bit easier. Because I tell you what, trying to huck this stuff over... It, it is a real pain, and I really wish we could... We had, like, some sort of... I don't suppose I can... Can I land on those by crazy chance? Can I walk on these? I can. Okay, I have a thought. This is probably a, a really dumb thought. But it's only dumb if it doesn't work. Uh, okay, so let's put these here and go eight. Eight. Okay, no, that, okay, that doesn't work. What if we just... Can I, can I do this? And just walk? <gasps> oh. 
it's so crazy it just yeah. might work. What? Okay, that was a very strange bug to happen there. But at least it was just right here. <sighs> what? Yeah, okay, so if I just do this... Can I push them out into the... Because I can walk out onto them for a little bit. Oh. Can I... Like this? Sort of. Let's just, like, grab out a few of these. They come out a little bit. Ooh, we're, we're, we're experimenting. And then come over to here. <laughs> this might be... This is probably really... Oh. See, it's it, it's not a perfect it's not a perfect answer especially since the second I I get out into uh, the water and I and I hit the inventory it's like all of a sudden kind of not liking that much but I've got lots of clover it's not like I have a huge need for clover here. So, what if I just come, like... Yeah, see, if I stand on it too long... It, yeah, won't work. But, I mean, I can kinda... I can kinda! It's stupid, but if it works, it's not stupid. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll take it. Because up to this point, trying to get those stupid, um, th those, those grass, st uh, those grass planks over to that, th that side has been a real hassle without any sort of floor to build. And... At least it's something. You know, seeing as the second I even, like, look at water... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, that's right, I have to go this way. Um, I swear, the second you even look at water with these things in your hand... Uh-oh. Uh oh, I'm out of... <laughs> I'm just out of breath. And <laughs> awesome. I'll take it. And I wonder if this will still protect me from 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 ground enemies. Oh. What was that? Okay. I'm always having to fix that. That's kind of making me a little frustrated. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's a big scary thing right there. <laughs> grab. And grab. I tell you what. My appreciation for aphids has has increased dramatically. Because as long as I don't mess with them, they keep making aphid honeydew. And as long as they keep making aphid honeydew, oh, I can stop. Nice and clean. Worse than my mom's Brussels sprouts. And I can just chow down on them and fill right up. Awesome. I love it. Uh, and it allows me to keep running uh, everywhere and, and not have to worry too much about my stamina. I mean, a little bit, clearly, but... No, 
nice. Oh, I, let me tell you, I'm not going to lie. I, I was genuinely on the verge of being so frustrated with the with how this game how this game's mechanics were not that they're bad mechanics but just how they're how they're made and how you do things that i was kind of on the verge of saying you know what this isn't fun i don't want to play this game anymore um and and just because of that i mean the, just trying to you know here i am trying to to just build a home someplace that's reasonably safe and it's it's impossible. I mean, as it is, I'm st I, I'm sure even after I, I build my wall here, I'm still going to have to figure out some way of dealing with the roof um, because these a or these uh, gnats are still going to be bothering me every morning. So I, I don't know how to deal with that because the roofs the roofs in this game are stupid. They're really, really stupid. Um, they're, they're they're at an angle like this, um, and when you try to adjust them, they adjust in ninety degrees. So the, the you you can't you're allowed to kind of free place the walls, but you're not allowed to free place the ceilings. So they are constantly north, south, east, west whether or not your walls are north south east west which in this game trying to do like perfect like a perfect setup like that no you're, you're not going to do that uh this game is too erratic and too kind of strange and unusual for it for that to work like that so uh i don't know it would also be nice if we could carry more than five planks at a time um, I wonder if that's going to be... I mean, apparently there are mutations. Oh. Oh. With each landmark found, you gain a better understanding of the lay of the land. Your tiny feet traverse the yard like it's the back of your hand. Space. I'm a natural explorer. I don't know what that means. And that's another thing. They don't explain anything. Of course, it's early access. Or, or actually, data? Oh, wait. Scab? Is this... I don't know what that is. Tutorials. Yeah, it, it doesn't say... It, it, oh, well. If anybody knows what that is, what that means, uh, the natural explorer thing, let me know in the comments. Um, because I do know that, I mean, since it's early access, I really can't get too upset mm -hmm. that it's missing things. It's early access. You, I mean, that you, you get what you pay for. And, you know, the fact of the matter is I bought an early access game and, uh, therefore I must accept what, what is, uh, with, with a bit of dignity and grace. Uh, but so, and that's actually another, uh, like kind of the reason why I kind of say, uh, y y you know what, if I, I don't have a problem with people in an early access game explaining something to me that I clearly am not understanding. Uh, now, obviously I don't want you to be saying, Hey, lion over on, you know, uh, this part of the map right here is the ultimate weapon of supreme awesomeness. And every possible great tool you could ever want, go there and pick them all up. It's easy to get. You know, I, I don't want that. Uh, you know, let me explore the game. Um, but if I come across, like, Natural Explorer, and there's clearly no... Uh, you know, there's there's no explanation for it at least not, no easy explanation that i could find uh you know it, it would be nice to you know if somebody were to say hey lion natural explorer uh actually uh increases uh your attractiveness to uh aphids by uh 10 percent or whatever uh because <laughs> uh, 
you know, if that's the case, I don't want to be attracted, uh, attractive to aphids. I, I, I don't, I don't want to do it. You know, I, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't go that way. I, I don't swing that way. I mean, no offense to aphids, but you know, you, you're not my, you're not my type. Okay, so here's all of the, uh, of the, the plant fiber and such. I, you know what? I imagine I can probably at least turn some of this into woven and just get ahead and just do woven, 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 woven fiber, woven fiber. That's it. I may as well, I, I'm sure I could just do this. You know, it's not like woven, woven or uh, plant fiber is rare. Mm. So I could probably just do this. See, there's 11, and I've still got plenty. Um, yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll just we'll just do this, and that way we'll have some in there. Uh, we'll have some stems on us. We can. I, I think we can put away the. Mm -hmm. Oh, not that one. Um, yeah, put this one away. I don't know what to do with all that spoiled meat, but it does say perhaps there's a. Oh, hey, what happened to my? thing here uh base building grass wall construct you guys can kind of get an idea of like how awkward it is uh i mean it it doesn't place well at all you have to kind of finagle it, <laughs> it you know there, there's it, you just there's no way to to get around it what time is it it is 1700 so uh another three hours and i'll be able to go to bed for the night uh and i think what i'll do is i'll just hey little aphid oh thank you so much for your present i mean I, you know i i i i really do appreciate this this honeydew that you guys are are dropping for me I'm sure you're you're not terribly thrilled about the idea, but I love it that you're doing this for me, and you know, thank you for for, for your sacrifice. Incidentally, uh, for anybody who would like to know what aphid honeydew is, um, I do know what aphid honeydew is. Um, and let's just say that it's kind of gross that I'm eating it. Uh, but in fact, <laughs> uh, aphid honeydew it is an actual thing. Um, and there are uh, creatures that live off of it. And it's actually quite healthy for those creatures. Um, and in fact, if we could... Uh, <laughs> If we could mass produce aphid honeydew to levels where humans could 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 effectively eat it and uh, have enough to survive off of, its nutrient value is actually surprisingly high. Um, having said that, I don't think I would ever um e ever actually eat. Aphid honeydew in in uh, in real in real life. Uh, I'm pretty sure you would have to trick me into eating it <laughs> uh, and and say things like, "Oh, uh, lion, uh, would would you like to try this? It's um, unique. <laughs> it's different. Oh, really? What is it? Oh, uh, you know, you don't need to know what it's called. Just uh, try it." <laughs> And then I will be upset when I find out that, you know, what it actually is. Because, because honestly, guys, it's it's kind of nasty. <laughs> All right. Uh, you going to let me gather this up or is it going to drop my... Oh, well, maybe it will. All right. Uh, send drop, 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 drop. Oh. Grab, uh, grab, 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 and then grab, 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 
There they go. Oh, whoa! What was that? I don't know what that was about. But let's just go ahead and grab those. And... Uh, but, but yeah, if, if you ever are curious, uh, you know, I, I encourage you to uh, do some, some research on uh, insect... Uh, you know, I I insect stuff, um, and it's actually surprising how nutritious uh, insects are. I mean, there are there are entire societies that that survive off of uh, various insects, uh, and in fact, eating insects is quite you know nutritious uh, in many ways. Uh, and, and and you know I. I now, I, I am saying that, of course, you know, in American society, we would go, bugs. You, you want me to eat bugs? And and I won't lie. I'll be I'll be right there with you, saying, bugs. You want me to eat bugs? Now look at this. I've just been running back and forth. I've been doing this stuff all day. I've managed to gather up eight honeydew. Oh, oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to Better do this. than starving. Don't even I need think. to boil it. And look at that. Just just like that, right back up to full again. It, it's incredibly nutritious. Um, and, and, oh, there we go. I was look, trying to find my, my pile of grass planks. I really wish you could carry more than five. The, the fact that you can only carry five is, is a little... It's a little bit of a bummer. Uh, you know, you're you're able to stack up all sorts of other stuff. Why can't you, you know, in inside your inventory? Why these? You know, why specifically these being the the unique thing? I don't know. I I can't explain it. All right. I don't know that I'm actually going to be able to finish this in this episode. Um, and oh, shoot. I had an itch. Let me get back over here. And right here. And I and drop. Boom. Did that work? It did not. Shoot. Push it, push it, push it over it. Push it over there. Can I just can I just shove it in there? Shove it in there. Shove it in there. Get it, get over there. Is that gonna work? Eh? Um, sort of. <laughs> uh, and, eh. Can I, can I maybe come here? Add some more. we go and can I maybe come here oh oh and then do this is, is that gonna oh <laughs> all right oh, 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 over here ah. <laughs> this is such a kooky way of doing this but I need a I need a way all right let's just go right here and I oop. Here we go. Clover leaves. I, I, I I'm I'm gonna here let, you know what? Pick up some of these. Come here and eh. <laughs> it's so dumb. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm occasionally looking around, it's because there is a, a giant brown-looking spider. I don't know what kind it is because I've been avoiding it like the plague. Uh, but there is a giant spider that wanders around out there. I have already tested 
to see if my water base, um, uh, let, let's say, discourages them. And yes, it does. Uh, I had aggroed the, the creature. Um, and, and, and I ran to my base and it basically just sort of stood outside, uh, and, and hissed at me, but it was not able to, uh, continue its assault at all. And after a while, it just kind of gave up and, and left me alone. So, uh, my theory, uh, uh, oh, okay, shoot. My, my theory is correct. Um, it is safe from land creatures. My problem now is those uh, is those uh, gnats. Uh, and I need to figure out some way to deal with the gnats. And I don't really know how I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I'm, I'm still trying to work out some sort of defensive capability. Uh, and, and I think I kind of interrupted myself earlier. Um... Oh, diamond. Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. All right. Look, look. The episode is done in three minutes, Diamond. I promise I'll I'll let you go afterwards. Okay. I swear. You act like you know. You you act like you don't love me. <laughs> uh, Cherub is um. It is oh, over here. Uh, Cherub is working in the garage today. She's, uh, ever since this whole COVID-19 thing has, ha has started, she has been working out of her garage in order to make money. And she's, you know, with her being a hairstylist, um, she, she just has to make sure that it's well ventilated, uh, and, uh, they're, you know, she's got all of her appropriate equipment which she does i mean she owns all of her hairstyling equipment she owns uh she she goes out and buys all the proper uh styling things that she needs i mean she's a professional she's been doing it for for years and years um uh, and uh she in fact she once owned a salon uh before she decided to to to, to uh sell her existing business and just kind of be a hairstylist and not mess with the business end of it uh but she's more than capable of running her own business because she has before um and that's kind of what she's doing now is uh ever since the the whole covid 19 19 thing happened um she she realized that she still needs to be able to make money even though hair salons are shutting their you know having to shut their doors uh and so she basically just said, you know, hey, Lion, uh, would it be okay if, you know, we just converted the garage? And I'm like, heck yeah. That's, I mean, she didn't really ask my permission. It was more like, what do you think about this? And I was like, heck yeah. What, what, what do I need to do to help you? Um, I mean, I, I, I kind of, you know, sort of phrased it like, you know, she asked me, but she didn't ask me. I mean, you know, she don't need to ask my permission for anything. Uh, you know, she, 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 she said, Hey, I could do this. And I was like, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, so I, I sort of built her, her own salon in the garage. Um, and she, she works out of the garage. <laughs> hey, little aphid. Um, and so... That's what she's doing right now. She has some some clients in the uh, in the garage right now that she's helping. Uh, and you know, you know what? I I'm you know it probably won't take more than a few more trips to be able to finish this. Um, but I'm kind of running out of time for this episode. Um, and so and besides, Diamond is really badly wanting to go out there because she knows that that cherub is out in the garage and she wants to go say hi yes diamond calm down it's okay breathe puppy dog breathe <sighs> she 
he is so spoiled. <laughs> and that's my alarm. Um, so I'm just going to gather up these last planks, and I'll, I'll just I'll do the rest uh, off camera, uh, and I'll finish building the wall. Um, the thing is, is that that's not the, a wall isn't going to keep out the aphids. I mean, uh, keep out the gnats because they're flying creatures. They'll just fly over the wall, and the 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 ceilings suck they absolute they're absolute garbage uh i mean why the heck can't we just have a flat roof i don't know but i mean it, it is what it is i mean just to give you an idea i will craft base building uh okay grass roof so this right now as you can see the only roof we have available right now except for corners so that's it it's slanted uh, they're all slanted and if I come out here as you can see they I mean they they turn in 90 degrees angles you can't you can't change them any other way uh, I mean you can there's just now it says control what is what is I don't know why oh, okay it's I guess that's if you wanted to do that. But anyway, I don't know how to, I mean, the, the, putting, putting a slanted roof on this is not going to help because they're just going to fly over the wall. And even if I, you know, slant, slant, slant and go all the way up to the top, I, e even that's not going to work because the, the 90 degree angles are so stupid. So it, it's not really, my, my current setup isn't going to work. I, so I, I. I don't know what to do because um, I want to be able to keep the gnats out so they don't come in and try to steal my stuff. Um, although, now that I think about it, the one that they were, uh, the gnats were going after was the spoiled meat. What if I were to put the spoiled meat outside the building i'm gonna try this real quick guys um before i end the episode uh but let me just go ahead and wait wait is this it yeah this is it uh you know what if i lose some spoiled meat oh boo hoo uh let's just go ahead and gather up all of that oh i, I want i want that okay you know what it's fine um what if we come over to where? Over maybe outside to here and leave and maybe do this. Would this work? Utilities, storage basket. Oh, uh. Oh no, what do I do? I am out of, oh, thank you. Uh, I'm out of clover leaves. Oh dear, wherever shall I get more? <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Grab. <laughs> All right, I think I'll just put it right here because that's, that's close, this is close to where they come. So I'll come here, storage basket, space. And then out, oh, no, out, construct, and, oh, where are all the, where'd all my spoiled meat go? Whoa, stop, hey, stop that. Didn't I collect up all the spoiled meat? I thought I did. Oh, okay, this is a bag of spoiled meat. I got it. Okay, take all. And what I'll do is I'll just collect any and all spoiled meat. I don't care if they take the stupid spoiled meat. 
I mean, let him take it. And they'll congregate out there and maybe leave me alone. And then take all... I mean, I guess the worst that happens is it doesn't work and I still get swarmed with gnats. But perhaps it will. And if they steal the spoiled meat, who cares? It's so easy to get more spoiled meat. Heck, the reason why I have so much spoiled meat now is because these stupid gnats come from everywhere. And while I'm killing them and, and collecting up all that, their, their meat is dropping. I can't cook it all. And, it, you know, so... Choke it down, Pete. Oh, it's worse than Dad's brussels nice and clean. clean. Let's just chow down on the rest of this. And there's usually water around here somewhere. Um, I guess it hasn't, hasn't formed up yet. Um, but water does have a tendency to form up around here, so I'll probably grab that in the morning. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that, but I think what I'll do is I'll call it for this episode. I've already gone longer than I wanted to. So... Yeah, uh, you can kind of see what I'm up against here. Um, the, the, the construction is rough, very rough. Um, and it's really hard to keep anything protected. So I'm wondering if maybe if I, you know, put the, put the spoiled meat out there, maybe they'll all go for the spoiled meat and leave the rest of it alone. And, and and they just leave me alone. And if that happens, <coughs> great. All power to them. Let them do it. They can be out there and chow away. I'll be happy to give them all the spoiled meat that I get. You know, maybe someday it'll have a use, but right now it doesn't, and I don't care. So, <laughs> um, so let's cross our fingers and 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 hope for for good news on that uh, on on that score. So. My doggy is really wanting out, so I'm going to go ahead and say that's going to do it for this particular episode. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do the liking and the subscribing and the commenting down below. You guys, you're awesome, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, everyone, always remember that anyone can be a mouse that roars, but it takes someone special to be a lion to squeaks. So embrace your inner lion and squeak on! I guess the worst that happens is that it attracts more and it doesn't do anything to deter them at all. But I don't see how it could be worse because I already have a basket of spoiled meat. So I don't see how this could work. I'm really hoping, I'm curious to see if this will work. Let's, let's cross our fingers and hope. <laughs>